What are the tasks you do every single day that help your business thrive? I'm struggling to create more productive lists for myself. The number one task that I do every single day is I have my lights go off at seven or early. No, my lights go off early. My lights go off at sunset. So my lights are off at sunset. That immediately sets the mood for like, yo, let's get ready for bed. My red lights come on. I turn those on every day around sunset as well. So that's non-negotiable. Lights off at sunset, red lights on. Next thing is I stop work at seven. I don't work past seven. That's a task that I do. Um, another task I do is I open the window in my bedroom, let the fresh air in. The other task is I get into bed around eight. The other task is I take my book out. I write out what I got to do the following day. Next morning I wake up, I grab the notebook, that's the task, I close the window, I close the window, I start getting to work. That is the most important task. Everything else is a distraction, so I try not to do other tasks. So instead of thinking like, what are all the tasks I do every single day, I think more of like, what tasks can I get rid of? I don't wanna have to do any other tasks besides the ones I'm supposed to do in here. So again, I don't do laundry, dishes, Cleaning, errands, chores, none of that. Those are such distractions. They take me away from actually doing what's most important. And what's most important is whatever I've said was most important the night before. So really the, only, like the, 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 the master task is grabbing the notebook and doing what you said you're going to do. That's the master task. Every other task is a distraction because it's taking away from the master task. And then... You obviously have to have self-care time, right? So you got to go to the gym, got to meditate or go in the float tank, got to go, go to go for walks in nature, right? You got to take good care of yourself for sure. Those are like non-negotiables as well. But there's like the less tasks you do in a day, the better. And one way to find out all the tasks that you're doing, I did this exercise the other day, a couple, a couple weeks ago. I'll probably do it again too in the future. Here it is right now. Here it is. I wrote down one day a list of all the things I did that day. Look at all that. Look at all, all those different things I did. Like way too many tasks. Ideally, like the best days for an entrepreneur are going to be like these are all individual tasks I did that day, right? Way too many. Ideally, the best is when there's one thing. That's it. You do one thing. So what did I do on this day? I, uh, I edited my Facebook ads. I made a YouTube video. I had a call with my mentor twice. I went and looked up, uh, worked on some, hired a freelancer to do something for me. I did, I went in float tank. I did two calls with my business. I um, had a student call. I called Nate on my reps. I called Lissa, hung out with my friend Ali for a bit, worked on his webinar with him. Called my friend, watched some YouTube videos, specific entrepreneur style YouTube videos. Worked on my funnel, had a shower, uh, rinsed the dishes. Took my supplements, started writing a big email, texted my friend. Like the list goes on. I drove to the gym, went to the spa, had a massage. Like this is all in one freaking day. It's too much. I don't, I, mean, I don't want to keep reading. It's like embarrassing how much stuff I did that day. Like I'm embarrassed with how much stuff I did that day. That's not good. I used to think it was really good to do a lot of stuff in a day. That's not how you want to run a business. The best way to run your business is to pick that one lethal task and do it. What's like that one thing that's going to move the needle the furthest? What's that apex move? For most people, it's building their freaking webinar. Once that's built, the apex move changes to driving traffic to the webinar. Once that changes, the apex move is how do we get calls booked? That's it. Like that, those are like the apex moves. And once you're getting calls booked, okay, the apex move is figure how do you close those calls? How do you get good at closing those calls, making the sales? Once you're figuring out how to make sales, the only apex move after that is like figuring out how to treat your clients in the best way possible. Make sure they're getting the best results possible. Make sure your clients, your students, your customers are getting the best results in your program possible. So you're optimizing for testimonials. Make sure they have a great experience. That's like all you have to do, right? Like just get those big blocks done and just optimize for those things. All those other tasks are distractions. So it's instead of thinking like, what else can I do to be more productive? You don't think like that at all. You got to think, what can I get rid of? What can I eliminate? That will make you instantly so much more productive.